Okay, anytime you have data, it's just a pile of data. And usually what we like to do is find a way to summarize our data with what's called descriptive statistics. So descriptive statistics are the mean, median, mode, don't see it, not a problem, we're going to add it. The standard deviation or the variance. Usually one or the other is reported. There are some other mid-range, range, as you can see here, range statistics that are used as well. <clears throat> so let's see here first. It says find the mode for this list of numbers. Now I did this ahead of time, but all I did was I, I right-clicked on 12 for the row, for the range, and I told it to insert a row below. And it'll say that, and it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. But so all I did is I'm making some space down here. Be careful, I don't tend to add rows or columns around these drop downs because it messes those up. So I am going to add the mode. There just so happens to be a formula for the mode equals M O D E. There are other versions of this formula like MULT that would be if there was more than one mode that you can use as well. I'm going to assume my data set's only going to have one mode. I want it to grab any data that I have in this column. I don't just highlight the data because my next example could have more data or even less. And then I close parentheses and I hit enter. First thing you should notice is it looks like it's an error. It is not an error. All it's saying is there's no mode here. The mode is a value that's repeated. So if you want something repeated, I'll type 16. And now notice the mode change to 16. Um, you've probably seen in previous videos how I grab this data. I'll click and highlight it and copy it. And then I'll go up here and I'll paste it. Notice sometimes it doesn't paste in that first box, and that number doesn't belong, so I deleted it. And then I copy, or I cut this. I'm using Control X, or you can right-click and cut. And then I paste this value as well. And so now I can see it says find the mode. It looks like it is 99. And then I can go through all of these questions. Um, this is different data, so you have to be sure and change it for the mean, the median, X bar is the mean. Uh, some of these things, if you think you're going to forget like on a test, why not type them in here, right? Um, what do we want here? The mean, here's a data set, mean, median, mode. Notice here, now this one's mid-range. All right, so this one's, this one's a pain because you can't copy this and paste it over here because it's going to override your columns. So thank goodness there's not a lot of values. I'm just going to type these numbers in. 70.4, 100.9 looks to be the mode already because that's repeated. 84.3, 61.2, oops, 79.8, 91.7, and yep, there's that 109 again. Be careful that you're deleting any data that is not in this data set that you're working on. Otherwise, it changes your values, right? So notice here it asks for the mean, 86.47, looks right. As for the median, 87.3, the mode, 100.9. And now it's asking for the mid-range. Ruh row, not a problem. If you have your formula sheet and you remember that the mid-range is the max plus the min, and then divide that by 2. So I can do a formula. Equals, oh, I already have max and min up here. You just have to be careful. You wanted to add the max plus the min first. Why well, I have to put parentheses, and then divide by 2. I mean, you're basically averaging those two numbers. And I hit Enter, and I see the 81.05. So it's just kind of nice that you can build this sheet that you will be able to use for any data set. Now, this one's a little quirky because look at all these values. Again, I probably don't, 
Bless me. I probably don't want to type all these because of the decimals and I'm afraid I'll make mistakes. So what I do is sometimes I'll either add another sheet and I'll just make it my junk sheet where I have, you know, data values or I'll go way down here on the bottom where it doesn't matter. Now look, now look at this. So sometimes when I've copied and pasted, I've had to go outside of the box, get it outside of the box. And now from here, I could actually copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. There's some more over here. Oops. Yeah, there is. Where did it? Oops. I think I ended here. Copy. Go back over here. Sorry, I got like, can't see all my values. So this one's a little, a little bit of a hassle, but not a big deal. And these are kind of weird. Well, let me grab, let me grab this one. Copy. And then paste. And then finally this one. Notice I said it looked a little weird. It's just, you know, somehow there's probably something in this column somewhere else that it took. It took my decimals away. All I have to do is just hit increase decimals. And then copy. And bring you over here. <clears throat> and then let's see if this worked. 31.18 for the mean and the median 32. So you just have to be careful a lot of times when you're copying data because what will happen, some students, some students will come in here and they'll copy, let's say, four columns and they'll copy it over here. And uh-oh, I just lost all my formulas. How did we ever live without an undo button? So be careful if you're worried about copying and pasting data that's why I said typically what I will do is I will just add a sheet and I'll just call it my data sheet, right? And then I'll, then all I do is let's go back over here and then all I do is I copy stuff in here and now I can manipulate. I could actually manipulate all this. I could cut it and get it all into one column. So it's just, the big key is just be careful, be careful, right, that you are not manipulating these formulas. It's not the end of the world if you mess one up or delete something. All you have to do is go back and open the Google Sheets. I probably wouldn't make another copy unless it's like the very beginning of the semester because you're going to add things in here. But then you could just click on these cells and you could see, well, how are they getting that? And you could just simply copy that formula. Mm -hmm.